yesterday we started the beginning of 5.1 graphing systems of equations. We went through, we looked at these two graphs. The system I have is y equals 3x plus 1 and y equals negative x plus 5. We graph the first point. We graphed, how do we graph the first point here? Which point do I use? So I start up 1. I start up 1. My slope then is 3. and th It's 3 over 1. So it means up 3 to the right 1. Then you drew your line. We talked about yesterday being careful to be neat. Next one. I start up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. My slope's negative 1, which means negative 1 over 1. Down 1, over 1. There you go. They both intersect, or they intersect at 1, 4, and that's where we left off. So 1, 4 is the solution to my system. That means the point 1, 4 will give me the same answer for both. If I look in the calculator, which one's my x value? 1. So I'm going to store 1 into x. I stored 1 into x. 3x plus 1 gets me 4. Negative x plus 5 gets me 4. That is the only point that the same that x will give me the same y value. Anything else that I pick, if I pick the number 4 and I store 4 into x, when I use the first equation, 3x plus 1, I get 13. When I use negative x plus 5, I get 1. They're not the same answer. The only one that will give me the same exact answer is 1, 4, and that's my solution. What I want you to do now is in the other, another quadrant, graph both of these equations. How do I graph the first line? I start down 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. How do I move from here? Up 5. Which way is over? To the right, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, over 1, because this is 5 over 1 is my slope. Draw my line. Make sure that your point actually goes through. You need to be as accurate as possible. The second one, where, how do I start? I start up 3. 1, 2, 3. My slope from this point is negative 2 over 1, which means down 2 over 1. It just happens to be the same point again. Where do they intersect at? They intersect at 1, 1. And the one thing I forgot to do on both of these y equals 5x minus 4, y equals negative 2x plus 3. Just to show you, 1, 1. If I put in 1, what's 5 times 1? Minus 4 is 1. What's negative 2 times 1? 
What's negative 2 plus 3? 1. It's the only point that they will share. This one looks a little bit different. Why? What form are they in? Those are in standard form. It's going to be a lot easier for us to graph if we change them into slope-intercept. So I need you to rearrange both of those. Now, it was so important last chapter that we learned how to rearrange, because now we have to start applying all that rearrangement. The top one, changing it in the slope-intercept form, what needs to be moved? What is slope-intercept form? Slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. I need to be, bless you. Y equals, so this is out of place. How do I move that 3x? Subtract it. Y equals negative 3x plus 4. Now on this one here, there's a couple things. First thing I need to do is move this x to the other side. So I have negative 2y equals negative x plus 6. I can't have this 2 out front, or this negative 2 out front. So divide everything by negative 2. Everything has to be divided by negative 2. So the second equation is y equals, what's negative over negative? Positive. What's x over 2 really mean? What, what number's here? 1, so it's 1 half x. What's 6 over negative 2? Negative 3. Now that you have both these rearranged, let's graph. All right, once I fixed mine. Now, if your line's off a little bit, your answers are off a little bit. Where does it look like they intersect at? Right here? Which is 2, negative 2. Now, I know the three examples we've used so far, it's been one of the points where they intersect at. Not always that way, though. Rearrange this one first. How do I rearrange the top one? What do I need to do first? Subtract the 2x over. Subtract the 2x over, and I get 3y equals negative 2x minus 12. If I move one thing from one side to the other, I change the sign. Is it y equals? Do I have y equals mx plus b? No. So what do I need to do? Divide everything by 3. 3, 3, 3. y equals negative 2 thirds x. 12 over 3 is, so negative 4. That's the first one. The second one, what needs to be moved? 4x. So the positive 4x becomes a negative 4x when you move it to the other side. Next step, divide everything by negative 4. y equals, what's negative 4 divided by negative 4? 1x. What's 4 divided by negative 4? Negative 1. This is my system rearranged. I'm graphing it now. How do I graph the first one? Where do I start? Start down 4. 1, 2, 3, Four. Now with my slope, down what does a negative two-thirds mean? Down two, down two to the right three.
y equals negative 2 thirds x minus 4. How about the second one? How do I start? Second one I start down 1. My slope is 1, which means up 1 to the right 1. Draw my line. Now in this one, this is the first one where they don't share a point that you already know. So all I do is look where they cross. They cross right here. What is that point? What does it look like? Negative 2, negative 1, 2, 3. Negative 2, negative 3. That's what it looks like. Does it actually intersect at negative 2, negative 3? No, it doesn't. Now this is where I'm going to show you how to use the calculator for this. Turn on your calculators and hit the Y equals button. The Y equals button is the one up upper left. You have Y1 through Y7 on your screen. Those are just different ones. That number means nothing. And the first one, negative 2 thirds x minus 4. Press enter. And the second one we're going to go x minus 1. So everyone has the exact same screen. We're going to do the standard screen zoom. So press zoom. It graphs your first equation. It graphs your second equation. Now, a lot of people will go automatically and hit the trace button and try to figure out where they intersect. The trace button, it gives you an idea, but it doesn't give you the correct answer. Because if you're zoomed way out, your trace is going to jump in big increments. I want to know the exact spot where they intersect. The calculator will tell me this. I hit second, it's the yellow button. Then I hit trace. Second trace brings up the calculate menu. What am I looking for here? I'm looking for the intersection. So I press 5 or go down to 5. The calculator now says first curve. Press enter. It's saying second curve. That's the second one I graphed. It also tells you the equation up here. Press enter. It's saying guess. I really don't care what, you, what the guess is at. I press enter again. And the calculator actually spits out the correct answer. We said the answer was two ne negative 2, negative 3. Is that where they intersect at? Where do they intersect at? Negative 1.8, negative 2.8. I know what some people are thinking. Well, I'll just use the calculator to do all my graphs. You can use the calculator to check your work, to make sure you graphed it correctly. But when I go to grade these, let me show you. You have a point for graphing the slope, a point, or sorry, a point for doing the y-intercept, a point for doing the slope, a point for doing the y-intercept, a point for doing the slope, and then a point for the intersection point of you labeling correctly. So that's five points right there. For the ones where we do it by hand, yeah, if you put negative two, negative three, you're correct. I will give you like a one-point window. Because there's going to be error with your ruler, where you moved it just a hair, and that moves the answer just a hair. If you're past a lot, like if you had negative 4, 5, or negative 4, negative 5, you're too far off. Your answer, I'm, you're going to lose points. But I'm also going to look at, did you do this right, and did you do this right? If your line was just crooked, you lost a point. But if your other ones are wrong, that's where you start losing more. 
freehanding will not work. I know what some people try to do. You look at the calculator, you graph it. Let me get this out of the way. You put them both in the calculator. You look at it and go, all right, it goes down like that. It goes down like that. And my answer is negative 1.8, negative 2.8. Yeah, I'm going to know you use the calculator. Because number one, you have a perfect decimal. And number two, you don't have the points actually graphing them. The calculator is to be used as a tool to check your work, not do your work. Questions?